Very sexy. Yeah. Oh, speaking of sexy, oh. get off. Welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to yeah. Getting Off with Claudia Jordan and the Pigeons. <laughs> How would a pigeon sound getting off? Like, uh, <laughs> 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 Denise, you're very, very into the pigeon <laughs> sexual <laughs> sound. I know, right? Wow. You, wow. Let's not all trying do to, that. One, that was great. Trying to replace me. She was. Uh, we were doing it, but yeah. she was the loudest one. You know, <laughs> I, I have a thing for pigeons. One time I was in Baltimore, and um, none of y'all with me. Um, anyways, I, there was a pigeon. I, I, I feel for animals. I'm kind of like Cinderella, kind of an urban Cinderella. Oh. And there was a pigeon. It was all fucked up on the side of the road. <laughs> and I walked over to it like, oh, my God, it's all flattened out. Like, it's, it, it, like the face was okay, but the wings were messed up. Oh. I walked over to it to poke a stick at it. This motherfucker was playing dead, got up and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> totally cool. <laughs> little bitch playing dead. You know, real me and little oh, oh. poor ass pigeon. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Claudia Jordan Show. You know, we have a, we've been very good lately and more cerebral on the show. We've been talking about issues and relationships and feelings and fuck all that. We're going back to sex. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, we, I want everybody to share their wackiest and wildest and worst and best sexual mishaps and bloopers so that should be a lot of fun give us a call call us call in if you want to share your stories with us 877-2106-106 i want to be all up in your business because i tell my stories on the air i i don't confess way too many things <laughs> y'all know i peed in the bed as an adult wait did i tell you yes you did all of us heard that oh. that i date the youngsters niggas that who's wisdom teeth haven't come in just i i think like i put myself <laughs> out there so i like to hear you guys put yourselves out there and the callers i want you to call in and, and give us your, 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 your secrets. Who's in the house? Tina Davine is here. Who's in the house? Denisha Danielle. Who's in the house? Miss Flora's here. Who's in the house? Your girl Porsche's in the house. Eh, congratulations to you, by the way. Thank you. She will be on Jimmy Kimmel tomorrow yes. night. Right She'll be singing on. with yes. the rapper Tiger. Tiger. That's serious. Nice. The nice. the All right the, now. Doing two songs with him. So it's going to be All right. Gonna be great. Yeah. So we'll support that. Um, yeah. We get tickets. We, yeah, y'all can come. Okay. Yeah, yeah, y'all got to come through and present at 6.15 yeah, yeah. tomorrow night. Okay, cool. When Wait, I get out of that? surgery tomorrow, <laughs> girl, you're going to be messed up. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm getting breast implants tomorrow. All right. right. Yes, I thought so. <laughs> Actually, I'm getting some uh, teeth <laughs> removed at the back so I can give better That's oral. That's hitting the blog <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> so I like, get better oral. I'm getting the back wow. teeth removed. I don't need them. <laughs> I'm not a meat eater anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, so what you guys been up to? Tina? Tina? Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She ain't got to mm. speak yeah. on it. Damn. Huh? Take one for the team. You know. Heartbreak? A little heartbreak. That's all. Aww. Me and you fall in love and get heartbroken all within 10 days time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I love him. I hate him. He I love me. him. Fuck him. <laughs> so <laughs> fast. Fuck that nigga. No deal. There, no there deal. Is, no there deal. is love involved. <laughs> There is hate involved. There's love. There's hate. But so fast is what we're talking there's about. If I ever see him, days. I'm kicking him in the shit. Do you ever have sex with him? Yeah. Of oh. course. Damn, you don't tell me shit. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Denisha, Danielle. You don't remember when I what had was that this big update? Oh, the glow. I had the glow. Well, she had the glow. That's yeah. one that, weekend oh, I had sex in 2008. That was 10 days ago, remember? <laughs> it, I, I no, wish it was. she wished. I, it was wow. supposed to be. I gladly oh. shout that shit. It was supposed wow, to be. Wow, Tina, I'm sorry. Yeah. You and I oh. both fall, you know, we're very prone to the Cinderella story. We think it is possible to find that person, fall in love that same day, and like go <laughs> to Vegas or get married, whatever. Right. Yeah, you know, all in 10 days. Yeah. It's but not. No. No, nine yeah. and a half. Well, of course. So your polar opposite, Miss Frigian. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Nothing. Working out. <laughs> working, being a mom. Working. Had the barbecue. She yeah. said working out. Oh, okay. I have been. I've been I know, I believe you. I'm just saying. I, that's, I know. That's well, I almost had a great time with your barbecue. Oh, <laughs> almost. <laughs> This bitch Almost. tried to go in the bathroom. I heard. I heard. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I mean, come on now. Times is getting kind of rough. <laughs> There's no so lock. Let There's her no do lock her. on the door. On any of the doors. Let her do her, her thing. Your house is really good for like little random freaky deep spots, though. <laughs> I listen, like it I was not. Mm-hmm. You weren't. I was, too, I heard. Uh, the faux finished paint in the room. <laughs> 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 the ladder leaning against the door. You, you need a better mattress on that second floor. <laughs> wow. It's very loud. Yeah. Yeah. You. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Denisha, it's very loud. <laughs> yeah. How do you know? Yeah. I don't remember. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think your daughter got the most action this weekend. <laughs> anyway, uh-huh. she's fine. Porsche, I mean, uh, Flora. <laughs> yes. Uh, did you fire him? You know what? Um, yeah, oh, girl, you're, you're not trying I'm to not fire him. I'm not punk. He said he was going to do better, and gosh darn it, I'm going to give you, him that second chance. You actually believed him? Um, you said, I, I mean, Flora, you sound like a sucker right now. No, he's, I don't. He's young. Yo, hey, you're I'm playing yourself. Some, what? He ain't going to change. Yeah, I'm okay. playing myself into some dick. Shut up. <laughs> 
Uh, but he looks real cozy in the pool. She does have a point. Oh, I see yeah. you puffing your booty on something. <laughs> you agree? Man. I did see you with a certain tatted up individual. That was not the cub. Uh, oh, wait, wait. That no, was, it was it. lighter what? than me. Oh, oh I know what she's talking about. Absolutely, yes. Was really he on nice. you? Was he on? I don't know. It was so like, can you see his thoughts? Seriously. I was, oh, he's, he's nice. No, I must yeah, confess, I did nice. throw him an alley, but I said that one right there needs it. Damn. Can you believe he was in the pool five hours, still came out light? Wow. Oh, um, all right. Question. Um, uh, um, yeah, just rehearsing. Jimmy Kimmel and I came in. Um, I had a show over the weekend in Lancaster. It was so good. It was me, Unk, Huey, and Pretty Ricky, and a bunch of people that had a show. It was dope. But then I got broke down. The water belt or van belt, all this kind of stuff happened to the car. So that's why I couldn't come. I was stuck out there over overnight and pretty much most of the weekend. But right. the show was hot. Got good video on it. Thanks for the invite. And, uh, <laughs> it's Bakersfield. That's back to our topic. <laughs> Sexual mishaps and bloopers. We have cars. Um, <laughs> with working fan belts, we would have came. <laughs> Ouch! You're right. Back to our topic. I was in bed all week with I uh, had an infected uh, root canal gone bad, so I, you know, I could have used a night out in town. Wow. But, but your cat, cats, but your cats, you can't leave. Fuck them bitches. <laughs> okay, anyone care to share a story? What best, worst, freakiest, wildest? I, one time this happened to me, and you know, we boy, one time. Boy, boy. I know. Yeah. It's like every, had, everything in my story. bag of humiliation. Denisha actually had a very good story. I was, I was really surprised. Let's hear it. Oh, <laughs> let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. It was a few years ago. Oh my God, okay. I got a little <laughs> bit swept off my feet. Where are my sound effects? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. I'll do it. One, two. <laughs> so, no, listen. <laughs> You know what? There's a lot of people who tell me my stories are very interesting. Just, have, you like seen them? Hear. <laughs> have you seen them? Have you seen I've seen their comments. <laughs> tell me, have you seen Damn them? Damn it. So we anyway, you haven't seen them. No I'm playing. <laughs> Go ahead. Love you guys. Okay. Now I'm only self-conscious. Have a, only anyway. Have an hour. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, it was our first date. Mm -hmm. It was a formal event. Mm -hmm. At my office, we were all dressed up. I did not expect the date to go as well as it did. Wow. And this was a first date. So then we go back to his place. Uh -huh. On the first oh. date. <laughs> first date. This is Denisha Danielle. Okay, so I'm a little embarrassed because <laughs> things are going along a lot quicker than I would did expect. Did he finger you? <laughs> yes. We're going to treat you like our callers and <laughs> feed your ass up. Okay, Can so, you anyway, that? so anyway, he, he carries me up to his bedroom. In your mm -hmm. office. Carries. Yeah, he did. Wow. He did. I said in the office. He carried me up to his bedroom. So he had a bedroom above your office. His office. Wow. He had okay, a bedroom Amber. next to his office. But why are you trying to... Oh, okay, God, 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 please okay. hurry up, please. Anyway, <laughs> so we're getting... Things are advancing, advancing, advancing. And he's about to pull down my panties. And then at that moment, I realized I hadn't had a bikini wax in three months. And... Three months. <laughs> and Three she months. didn't do it. That bitch was Bushwhack <laughs> Bill. <laughs> I will put That's that bear I will put that bear claw in his face immediately. <laughs> like, did he make out with buckwheat or what? What's going on? <laughs> the bear that would never I was like, did he get a taste no. of the grizzly? So, wait, wait, wait. So, so you made him yeah. stop? You're gonna be a bear, be a grizzly. How did right? you make him stop? You made him stop? I, I tried. And he, he didn't stop. He don't care don't about care. that. That's nature. That's natural. I don't know how you live natural. with yourself. You were putting your panties on every day. Surely you seen that bush coming out of the side of your Listen, drawers. I was busy. Him. I was but closing she, deals. But it was the first day. She didn't think she'd be getting yeah, it up. I yeah. didn't think. Shave for yourself. Listen, but right. I get a bikini wax when I'm going to church. Just because. <laughs> you never know. Get it just because, ladies. Just you because. You never know. That's uh, right. Our first call, it hasn't happened since. Our first caller, uh, Iceberg. Iceberg. I know he got some stories. Iceberg, welcome. Get through so fast. <laughs> Everybody, know. nobody else can get through, but Iceberg they finds need his, a way. his number. Yeah. Whatever Iceberg. He's Iceberg, is he there? Yeah, I'm here, baby. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. Let's hear it, baby. I missed y'all, uh, you know what I'm saying? But what's the matter with the little bikini? I mean, you ain't got to have no wax nigga still going to knock it down. <laughs> <laughs> he did, but, you yeah, know. Oh, so he fucked. Yeah, of course she did. On the first date, she will have the longest build-up to the most boring story and forget <laughs> I, the best part. That could make it exciting. Da -da -da. And we, <sighs> and we cuddled. <laughs> we cuddled. Let's I hear thought I, that was funny. Iceberg, let's hear your story. Jesus. Comment. I mean, uh, not Jesus. I mean, something uh, like uh, Stories? I ain't got no stories. I mean, well, let me tell you this much. i tell you this much. A real nigga don't give a fuck. You got stress, Marcy. Y'all fuck with too many on California pretty niggas. Y'all need to come back to them thug <laughs> niggas. Talk about man. it. We have some in the house. No. <laughs> <laughs> talk about it. A real nigga ain't worried about all that shit. Every woman got imperfections. I'd rather have a woman with imperfection than a woman with all that surgery and all that bullshit, fake titties. Work with what the good Lord gave you, ma. 
As long as your head game is good, it could get you past in life. <laughs> so you wouldn't mind if I had, like, you know, bullet wounds in my ass. That would be all right with you? I'm saying when it's dark, man, I can't see all that. As long as that as long that just means you're right or that shit. Wow. What's the, your number? The, the way I see it, if we're already at the point where you can see my imperfections, fuck it. You're already here. You might as well do it. Call us. <laughs> call in 877-2106. After the break, we are talking about sexual bloopers and mishaps and blunders and, and all that bullshit. Give us a call. 877-2106. After the break. Give us a call. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, that's to wax. Nice. Nisha, that's yes. to wax. You <laughs> got to stay wax. Yes. You got to wax. <laughs> uh, yes. I like the Lob on the mic. Yeah. All right. Our topic is sexual mishaps, bloopers, blunders, and I like to hear some good stories as well. <laughs> so, you know, share with us your sexual escapades, good, bad, and ugly, and all that in between. Tia Zavina, yes. do you have a poem on this topic? I do. That's crazy that you have a topic, a poem for everything, you know, everything I told you. I'm right. like, fucking midgets. I ah, got a poem. Uh, <laughs> I got a poem. <laughs> Getting crabs. Oh, got a poem. <laughs> All right. Got it. Take it away. The quench is insatiable. I couldn't stand it any longer. The need was getting stronger and stronger. Hunger devoured my rationale. Simply his coy smile has made me weak. Curiosity peaks. I'm eager to know what he has in store for me. I'm a handful, you see. As tingles are moving up and down my spine, we decide to have another glass of wine at his place. There's a comfort in his face that's telling me it's okay to indulge in what I'm feeling. Slowly my clothes are peeling, my resistance is shriveling, my senses are awakening and he is taking me there, yes baby, right there. His touch is everywhere, on my skin, in my hair, upon my lips, within my hips. I reciprocate with licks, my fingers interlock with his, ah, how bad I needed this to let someone in just a little bit closer. I whisper for him to come a little bit closer. I want him to feel each moan before it escapes my breath. To use all of our energies until there is no more left, until we are drenched with sweat and the smell of sex in the air is thick. That we are so wet our skin stick and he can't keep it in because he keeps slipping out. And in again. Let's begin again. Let's videotape and recreate each move that we just made. Get off on our no noises and moans. Watch our shadows become one in the glow of the candle's wax. Drip it all along my back with each sting I scream. Silently, feel me, thrill me, exhaust me till I am spent. And I don't know where the night went because at 4 a.m. we are at it again. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking about the slipping. Wow, yeah, the oh, slipping, wait. dripping, in, 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 in. How out? about, that was the wrong poem. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you, it realize, was, it was, you realize it halfway through? Yeah, I was uh, like, it's <laughs> not even the right poem. Next time, just say, fuck it, I fucked up. Let me go ahead. Start over. I was like, slipping. This is do Jesus over, do over. But you bring up an interesting topic. <laughs> Male slippage. <laughs> is it his fault? Is your coochie too big or is his penis too small? My shit is just too damn wet. It's too wet. It's too wet. So you can kind of blame it on him. Oh, honey, you just got me. So why did it just slip down? Uh, <laughs> not that my coochie's big. It's uh, that's good though. That's good. That's a good thing. Male I, slippage. I like slippage. When that happens, I, it pisses me off though. Because if you slippage out and then you go try to go right back in with the no hands, you can Ouch. break his dick. Uh, then you gotta hold up. Yeah, no, we can have it. If you slippage it out. Yeah, <laughs> you're have you ever done that? You're thinking about being on no. top, trying to get back. I'm on. always on top. I run <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I run this shit. Dominating <laughs> ass. Let them lead. Let them lead. I don't know how. I, yeah. I know you gotta let them lead. If you're doing, clearly, give it a you try. gotta let them Just lead. Give it a try. I like to be on top. <laughs> well, they have to feel like they have control. Then I can get up and go get a sandwich when I want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sandwich. Okay. That's that man be a man concept, though. That right. It's hard. Us to keep us. He wants to take control. It's hard for us deep voice females. To <laughs> right. Yeah. It is. I feel you. Is, is, is that what it is? Yeah. It's been so long that you just want to take control and like you know. I feel What's like I'm in control even when it's from behind. I'm I know. You know what I'm like? <laughs> I'm like Mark Furman in the OJ trial. Like, the nigga was guilty. and It was going to go down that way anyways. But I just want to help it along just a little bit with the glove right there. <laughs> That's my sex life, Mark Furman. Okay. Yeah, well, very random. Uh, Mr. Splash on the phone from Buffalo, New York. <laughs> All right. Smart people. that We'll get that later. Okay. Oh, Mr. Splash. <laughs> Mark Furman. Mr. Splash. 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 Nigga, speak. Splash. All right. <laughs> My blooper was my first time. You know, I didn't really know anything about it, but I was but I was good at acting like I did. So I lost my virginity to this one girl. She invited me. You know, we were flirting for a while, and one day she invited me over her parents' you know, house when her parents weren't home. So, mm -hmm. you know, I got her. You know, I got her to you know, to put on a condom for me and stuff like that. And she was, you know, she got to ride me and just was working my shit right. And 
You know, only got busted. Now I don't know what it feels like for y'all ladies, but when when we come, we get this like giant rush of euphoria, and then our shit goes numb for a long, minute and a half. So I'm like, get off me, get off. He timed it. He said, get off me. <laughs> and I, and she's like, well, what's wrong? I'm like, you broke it. I can't feel it. Like, oh, <laughs> and I was like, you like broke my dick in. And then she started like, you know, laughing a little bit. Meanwhile. I'm about, I'm almost about to cry and shit, cause I'm like, okay, for my sex life, grand opening, grand closing. So, she had to explain to me that it was normal and shit, cause she had an older sister that like taught her about sex, so she knew all this shit, but she had to explain to me what happened, and that, that shit was so embarrassing and whatever, so I vowed from then on that I was gonna learn any and everything I had to sex, but I bet it's still a funny story for her to this day. Oh, that's wow. so cute. Wow. I, thank you, Mrs. Splash. Thank you. I really wanted to have a virgin just once. You <laughs> dominate again. Every time we fuck 24, 25 year olds, that's damn near a virgin. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. There's this damn guy near. I went out with, I went out with once, like 10 years, long, 20 years ago. Ah, uh, this one guy. <laughs> 20 years <laughs> right. ago. Right. <laughs> when you were nine. He was at the, he was at the barbecue. Exactly. And, and at the right. time, I found he was a virgin. And I so wish I would have taken it. Because I want to be the girl at the club and when he walks by, he'd be like, see that thing right there? That's all me, dog. That's all me. I hit that. Uh-huh. Now he done been through so many broads, so it's like, Is whatever. He? he don't seem like the whole type, though. He's a hoe. Is he? I told him I, was, I will be talking much on the radio tomorrow. I'm not saying your name. Yeah, but we, yeah, here we go. What so up? He's never given it up. Eight years. Why would Eight he years. give it up, though? Right. That's Performance easy. anxiety. You think so? Yeah. Really? He's scared. I mean, he's an athlete, though. He's scared. I see it. Well. On his face. He's scared. <laughs> not, a, not under contract. Not on the roster. Yeah. <laughs> Low-key athlete. Low-key. You know what we say. Practice athlete. Overseas. <laughs> Overseas. <laughs> yeah, I think you should play coy with him, though, a little bit. <laughs> play coy. Niggas think they have the upper hand. I don't appreciate that. Playing coy, though, that, that's like not being yourself. Why? Why? Right. Why should so we not, not be trying. ourselves? Just well, trying sometimes to, like, to get being it. a little too much yourself can scare the shit out of most men. <laughs> and that's yeah, what I think is that. happening with him. He just was like putting his head down like, I, wait a minute. Oh, he grown you? now. I didn't say I want to have sex with him. Uh, uh, Katie uh, from Louisiana. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Katie, hi. You what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Mm, what's going on? Hi. Hey. I'm, I'm enjoying the show. What? How that's y'all good. ladies doing tonight? We're what does KD stand for? Kinky uh, Daddy? <laughs> That's Kinky. my initial. What? That's my initial. KD is my initial. Oh, it's just his initial. I, I he think he wants to, to leave it at that. It's <laughs> KD. He's <laughs> <Okay>. anonymous, basically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> KD. Just pick two letters. Okay. Uh, well, share with us your story. Do you have a story you want to tell us? Anything embarrassing or great or just whatever. Just fucking tell us anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling. I'm going to tell you something that was kind of strange. I was uh, messing with this married woman at one time. Mm. I was messing and with Mary Mary. Her husband was in jail. Mm-mm. Oh. Me and her messed around, I guess, about eight or nine months. I mean, just like, I'm a truck driver. So, no. whenever <laughs> I, yeah, I'm a truck driver. Wow. Okay. Every time I would come home, you know, she'd be like, well, you you made it home, you're close, I'm coming to meet you. Don't worry about coming over here, I'm coming to meet you. I want to fuck you in the truck. <laughs> woo woo. All right. Sounds like my <laughs> Sounds like Claudia. Continue. I mean, I, I'm going to tell you something about the fucking in the truck. When the truck is rocking, don't come knocking. Is that okay? Right? Oh, that's a fine I have on my truck. Okay. Okay, get. That's, so, uh, we we were we were there like that near three, four days a week fucking in the truck. Every time I'm almost home, I come and meet you. Park at the Walmart, park at the shopping center, wherever. Mm. Okay, so, what happened? So her husband got out of jail. <laughs> this is when it gets juicy. Okay. Fast forward a few months. And the punchline is. Well, her husband got out of jail and we were still, she was still coming and meet me. She get out of bed at 3 o'clock in the morning and leave him by herself. Wow. <laughs> okay. So she told me, she was like, you know, I don't know what you're doing to me. I just, he been out of jail now two weeks and I haven't fucked him. He touched me. I slapped him. Wow. I was, I was like, well, that ain't good. Uh, this like is turning TV. into a whole nother show, Katie. Really? <laughs> We're waiting for the funny story. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. So, so where so is the funny. funny mishap? Are you asking questions? Or sexual mishap? I'm going to tell you what, this is, this is the, to get to the point. The last time we had sex, we just fucking tore it down. You go, I'm boy. Shit. <laughs> ah, can't tell you. That is the man. hilarious. You go. I mean, it, we just fucking tore it down. So she left. She was like, well, why did you do me like that? I was like, well, that's what you wanted. 
She said, Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Oh, Thank you, Katie. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. And the next caller is. Um, <laughs> Katie, so, Katie, um, he, he's slow. He, he sounds older. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I just got a sexual story from Frederick Douglass. Uh, oh. <laughs> Very old school slavish. Um, wasn't really relevant. Yeah. Like. That he showed it, mm-hmm. tore it down. He <laughs> tore it down. He did. Katie, I want you to keep listening. Be a supporter. All right, yeah. James from Atlanta. Oh, this is going to be good. Gay sex, baby. James. Oh. <laughs> James. Good <laughs> Bobby in the... Hey, what up, Jay? Hello, how you doing? Yeah. Hey. hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing all right. Hey, look here, Claudio. I didn't get the roll call, so I can't say hi to everybody, but hey, how y'all doing? Uh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> New listener. This, 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 is, this is something that happened back in the day. I was... uh. I was going over this girl house and she was staying with her mother. Female. And you know, one thing led to another and we kind of like right there in the living room, you know. Mm-mm. And uh, everybody else kind of like sleep in the house. So now, you know, by things leading to another, she wanted to stand up. You know, she wanted to get like acrobatic with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> stand up. Like we've said that before. <laughs> okay. It can yeah, go bad so quickly. <laughs> Zebra style. She's, she's, she's standing up and I'm holding her. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, at the time that we're both climaxing, you know, you get a little weak, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh. Holding her, at the time that I'm climaxing, I'm about to drop her. <laughs> exactly. I'm talking about slapping the floor, and I can picture it. If I drop in the floor, everybody going to run out to see what happens. <laughs> so, you know, as I'm, about, as I'm about to drop her, I caught her, and I started laughing. And she gets mad because I'm laughing. I'm like, girl, you just don't know how close you came to hitting this damn floor. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, well, what, you, you messed up my climax. I'm like, hey, hey, I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. This shit was funny to me. <laughs> It's like, bitch, would you rather me mess with your climax or do you want a black guy? Right. Take, yeah. take, take, pick your poison. Like, you know, I, I get this picture of her, you know, her mama coming out and her sister and everybody coming out saying, what the fuck? You know, me standing out with my pants around my ankle and shit. You know, I'm just like fucking busted. I'm like, oh, no, we can't do this no more. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Thank you so much for sharing your story. <laughs> wow. And ladies, any of you guys? One time I was with this dude. <laughs> I know I said I start a lot of stories like that. It's the same four guys I'm talking about all the time. You guys oh, know right. right. We know. I have I had many deep relate. I had monogamous. four monogamous deep relationships. We had a lot of experiences in those days. Right. Mm-hmm. And I was with this dude, and um, I just had some dental work done. They put a temporary crown on one of my teeth, and <laughs> I was kind of dark in the room, twilight, oh. and um, it fell out. So I put it on the no. nightstand, didn't think he saw me. And no. He definitely called me out, and I had a missed tooth on the side. <laughs> how 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 far up though? Like, was it like? It wasn't the front tooth, but it definitely wasn't the back. <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely you see you can it. see it from the front. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is horrible. Side tooth, could side you, joint was out. Your you, side. Can you smell it? No. Well, I don't know. My sense <laughs> smelled horrible, and I really didn't, I didn't ask him. Oh my I, god. I, I was like, I thought I tried to act like it was gum. I think I had gum, and the gum pulled it out. <laughs> so I, I put the gum on. He's like, I saw that. Uh, you yeah, try to use the, the gum as a filling. <laughs> nigga, well, your wisdom teeth haven't come in yet. The tr- in, in the gum. <laughs> tried in That's the same dude whose wisdom teeth didn't come in, so. <laughs> oh. So he wouldn't. Oh, okay. he, yeah, he yeah, ain't none the better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, we've got a female call from Louisiana. Yeah. The South is represented. Hey, hey. I like it. I like the South. Yes. Um, Brown Sugar. How you doing, hey, Brown Sugar? how y'all doing? I love the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Little Southern Belle calling in. Let's hear your stories. Okay. First of all, all of us from Louisiana don't take so long to get to the point. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you, you babe. Us, but uh, I will be straight to the point, and I'll, I'll hope my best not to say this for a name. I used to go to college in Alabama, and, you know, with me being from Louisiana, you know, it was a lot of, like, a lot of mystery about me. But I had this little side hustle doing hair, and it was this boy hair that I was, uh, like, Jamaican twisting, like the two-strand twist that was kind of curled. Mm-hmm. I started doing his hair, then him and his brother left and went to the mall, and I waited for him to come back. He told me he'll be back in about two hours. So what happened was taking a nice shower, started drinking me some Mike's Hard Lemonade. That was my little drink back in the day. And I had, like, about four of them. And I was, like, buzzing really good. And when he came back, I was, like, in my nightgown doing his hair. Mm-hmm. And I finished his hair and stuff. One thing just started leading to another and, like, out here in Louisiana, like, the whole oral sex thing is still kind of taboo. And I mean, no Georgia really? boys. I'm never going there. Never. Wow. No, like, those Georgia boys are off the chain. They will jump down there like it ain't nothing. Wow. And it's George- like he did. And for So he thing, started I- doing your hair? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he started no, Was he braiding like, your hair? Like, 
Well, no, no, I finished this chair or whatever, and then it was like, he paid me, and then one thing just kind of led to another. We meant so, your other hair, honey. <laughs> he was doing your other hair. That. So, so he <laughs> rocked that <laughs> hair. So he played the harmonica. He yeah, was. like that. But it's like he kind of got it twisted because, you know, I was like worn out by the whole deal. I went to sleep, and it was like I woke up about 4 o'clock in the morning, and I woke up and saw this boy next to me. I mean, he just had a reputation for being so obnoxious. He had the biggest buck teeth and everything. And Ooh. I couldn't be seen with that leaving out of my apartment. So I put him out at, like, oh, so you put him out at like five in the morning. And he was just uh-huh. like, "What can I say?" Because it was oh. cold at the time. And I was like, oh, "Oh, I, was I so, like that you got yours and kicked him to the curb." Oh, wow. yeah. And then he—I was like a bitch for like a few weeks afterwards. So everybody was like, "You know, man, we knew you didn't let that boy do nothing to you because he's so stupid." I was just like, "Yeah, he lying, whatever." Uh, <laughs> she played him. Oh, thank That's you hilarious. so much. <laughs> All right. Wow. Thank you. You guys, we got to go to break in a second, but think about, have you guys ever denied someone to have sex with? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) <laughs> what I'm just saying, everybody has denied Portia. somebody. Portia. What? Don't think no, I'm there's someone. You you gonna tell your story now, I, Portia? I many. <laughs> many. I am the youngest. One. Many. Whatever. <laughs> there's, definitely, there's definitely dudes that they can have video and pictures. I'll be like, it did not she happen. Did I, did not like happen. R. Kelly, that's not me. I did not. <laughs> that is, I did not oh. do it. I don't even know your last name. Are you serious? <laughs> you never have a shot. Yeah. Okay. When you, uh, we come back, call us. Call in eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six. We are talking about our sexual exploits, escapades. Bloopers, blunders, good, bad, and the ugly. And I'm not giving credit to no niggas I can't claim in public. Give me a call, 877-2106-106. After break. We'll be back. These are Claudia's song choices for the week. That's why she's laughing. Um, <laughs> shout out to Too Short. Too, too, too Short. Let's go to Simon Vegas. <laughs> he, um, Saw all of him in Vegas. <laughs> well, apparently his name should be too big, right? He doesn't mind. <laughs> too he likes short to talk about his dick. Like a brother. Yeah, he is. A brother whose dick you've seen? I'm I'm curious. Wow. Like y'all, a brother in West Virginia tired. who... <laughs> right. Mad cool, too. Never sure. mind. I can't even say Shout that. out to Joe, Joe Torrey, too. Joe Torrey was out there. <laughs> Shout out to him, too. Yeah, of course. He can't... What? <laughs> oh, no, bitch. No. <laughs> Joe Torrey? No, no, no. no, no. no Joe Torrey is married. No, no, Shout no, no, no. out random. So we were all in Vegas. I was just wow. saying, when she said too short, we all went to, to, to Breakfast. Eat. We all went to breakfast after the club. Like, seriously. <laughs> Oh. It sounds so bad, but we did. We didn't go okay. Out. No, shout out to Dottori. You good people. <laughs> <laughs> Our topic. Fuck yeah, bitch. Our topic. <laughs> you over here laughing. <laughs> I know why she's laughing. Says, <laughs> the topic is sexual, sexual mishaps, bloopers, blunders, <laughs> funny stories. <laughs> Call us. 877-2106-106. I have to share something. Please. I sleep very deeply. Very deeply. Like when, In college, they put a fire alarm, a, a firecracker in my door and blew it up, and I still slept through it. <laughs> So I have this thing that I have to tell guys a disclaimer right away. Like, if we're going to be serious and spend the night, there is a possibility. It doesn't really happen that much, but there's a possibility that I could potentially pee the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and no, that is not your disclaimer, is it? It is. Oh, yes. Because I, I feel like I should say it because if it happens, you'll be like, oh, it's cute. But if I don't tell you, bitch, is nasty. That's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> and it, I, it's like, in my dreams, I, I dream that I'm looking for a bathroom. <laughs> I'm always in the woods. In my dream, <laughs> not in real life. In my dream, I can't pee outside. That's not ladylike. So I'm looking in a forest for a toilet. Um, really? <laughs> in real life, I pee anywhere. Exactly. That's what in I'm my like. dreams, I'm a lady. So I'm in Miss Rhode Island in my dreams. So in my dreams, I, I find I'm looking for a porcelain toilet atop a hill with sun rays on it. And I finally find it. And it's like deep into my dream. And when I finally find it, you know when you, you have to go so bad, you hold it when you find it to go, it feels so good. Oh. In my dream, I'm like, Oh. Wow. oh my god and I feel warm follow my clothes <laughs> uh-huh. fuck uh-huh. not again I thought 18 was my last time Damn it. I thought 25 was my last time time to invest in some rubber sheets fellas please call in if uh <laughs> You that is something sheets. you are willing to do with. If I peed on you, Claudia call Jordan. in 877 If I peed on you. Or if you like to drown, please call in. Um, so my longest relationship, oh. I did tell him the disclaimer. I said, listen, <laughs> listen here. I can't believe it. He who does not pay all the rent. <laughs> I must tell you that this possibility might happen. So one night, I had a lot of grapefruit juice <laughs> right through my system. We were like three years in. He loved me. And I, the fucking dream with the sunbeam. <laughs> I said, fuck. It wasn't all the way, though. It was a small circle. But he. So I was kneeling on the side of the bed, tapping him. <laughs> Wake up. I'm going to tell you something. No. Biting the, bite the finger. And he looked at me. 
And I have to say, he goes, oh, hell no. <laughs> the circle. <laughs> so we flipped the mattress over and we fucking did it. Whatever. That's it was hilarious. Was yeah, oh. it happened once with a dude. So that's my sexual. That is very embarrassing. That's, that's hilarious. hilarious. But I don't really get embarrassed. I'm not sure if that's sexual. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he sounds like you have a bladder problem. No, he, <laughs> no, he, I mean, he's still hit. I, yeah, he don't care. I mean, that's that's hilarious. hilarious. Yeah, he followed by sex. Wash up that shit. We was good. <laughs> Another call from Indianapolis. The state she. I don't hate it. Yeah. I wish it well. I wish it well. Okay, good. D Mims from Indianapolis. D Mims. What's mm-hmm. happening, y'all? How y'all doing? I actually hey. love Indy. Hey, we're doing great. What's up? Love <laughs> the Love the Patriots more. Uh, ah. D Mims. Ah, uh, fuck that. Uh, mm. You on the team? <laughs> <laughs> right, are you friends? Do you wear blue and white? <laughs> My, just, just a diehard Colts fan. I almost, I, I oh. had, I almost had a tryout with him, so. Oh, so he almost had a tryout. Yeah. We did make Claudia it. Claudia doesn't want you if this is almost. <laughs> no, no way. What's your story? Yeah, I got a story. I was in uh, Miami, South Beach, Cinco mm. de Mayo. Mm. Love Miami. Memories. Wow. Memories. Holiday weekend. Of the way we were. <laughs> so I'm, There's so I'm, many insights. I'm, I'm down there working at the, uh, uh, Oxi- I think the Oxygen Lounge Bar or something like that. This was a few uh, years ago. Football player? Nah, 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 nah. Almost. Yeah, almost. So I get, I'm down there working, and my boss, my boss been, you know what I'm saying? She been, uh, I'm doing working for Midori, Midori Liquors. So I'm down there. Midori. Yeah, I'm down there working for her, and she been flirting with me all day, little chick. You know what I'm saying? Like Puerto Rican, something like that. Mm -mm. Been flirting with me all day, but I, you know, said I ain't really paying no attention. So Mm -hmm. then, drinking that night. <laughs> we get to drinking that night, and you know what I'm saying. We working for, we there promote, you know what I'm saying, doing some promotions for. Them. So, okay. said, I'm drinking free all night. You know what I'm saying. I'm drinking doubles of Tangeray straight all night. That's the perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's my okay. shit. So whenever I see y'all, we got y'all. You know what I'm saying. We drinking Tangeray. Okay. So okay, great. When I, when, you know what I'm saying, I'm drinking, feeling, feeling real good and shit. So. She get the, you know what I'm saying, just really getting aggressive, right? So shit, I'm and like, And we're getting out. to the point how? <laughs> the dude, like, her boss was, a, you know what I'm saying, this black dude. So me and her going at it. We in the club now. It's our night. We finna go home together, right? We going at it like fucking couples. She reaching in my pants. I'm reaching in her pants. I'm like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's time to go. Her boss sees us leaving. Now, he been there the whole night saying what's going on. Her boss get to seeing this shit, seeing us finna leave, this nigga hops in, the, hops in front of me like, uh, we finna get a cab. I put her in, we fucked up, he steps in front of me like, hey, in I the appreciate the jump all night, woo, 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 you know what I'm saying, this, that, and the other, <laughs> woo, woo, I appreciate it, I'm gonna get her back to her room, safe and sound, and, and uh, oh, to the point. wait, he tried to take your girl that you got lick it up all night? Yes. It don't say, it don't say like a try, that was a, uh, he did it. He took it? He took it? Yeah, uh, yeah, he stepped right in front. He basically cut me off, like, hey, you know, woo, woo, woo. Big, like, small style. That, uh, that nigga straight cock blocked me, man. I'm gonna have to try that. Wow. I need to get some roofies because, <laughs> or never mind. Yeah, did you know, just say that out loud? <laughs> so did you, have, did you have anybody end up fucking her? Oh, oh there go. Wow, oh, I had they so much more as soon as we yeah. got. That was to a the great point. little story, D man. So Damn. he yeah. just got somebody. So he got to lick it up all night right warm the car up and then someone else got in the passenger seat and drove off but see the go. point was that was the boss right and he almost was a ball player right, <laughs> you right. so you're saying if i'm saying no, it's the boss if you're gonna give you, it to the you're your status now. wasn't high enough no i'm just saying if she know where her job stands she give it to the boss that's true so if he maybe shaved off two tenths of a second <laughs> off his 40 times he may have gotten action maybe all right we've got greg from houston that was very shallow. I mean, that was hilarious. <laughs> very, hey, Greg. Hey, get those high knee drills up. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, ladies. How y'all doing? <laughs> doing great. <laughs> All right. I, 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 okay. First, I'd like to say I enjoy your show. It's very fun. As you should. It's great. Thanks for listening. <laughs> We're hysterical. Feeling myself. But, someone has to. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you say? I said I was feeling myself because someone has to. <laughs> <laughs> I have my um, hand between my legs right now. <laughs> oh, guys. I'm sorry, Greg. I You're going to throw him off. Tell us your well, story, I have, baby. I, I have um I have a story um and, it, and this is for like for fellas to know as well because it's like a good of a bad situation. All right, I was um first it was like I was dating my ex girlfriend and we broke up for for a little while because I was good to her and you know um 
we never went all the way. We were dating for like a year, and we never went all the way. I was a man of respect that. Then mm. uh, oh, once we broke up, you know, and things went around, we still kept in contact with each other. So it came to a point where we set up a booty call. Mm. And uh, it was like the night before, you know how you used to talk on the phone late at night, talking about you sleepy. No, you know, I ain't sleepy, you sleepy type of thing, but we were still setting up the booty call. So that next morning, I woke up with, uh, as they say, morning wood. But to the point where it was like, it was to the point where it was like um, in a painful situation. So I'm Blue like, balls. wait. Blue balls. <laughs> I had a no, I'm sorry. It's like, but you, and to be honest, it's like, this is like, like really, you got to understand, see, I went, so I went to her house and everything, and first it came to a situation where it was like I was trapped in the closet because her ex boy, her ex boy. Wait, wait, you was in the closet? Time. Whoa. Come out the closet. Yeah. R. Kelly. R. Kelly. No, 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 R. Kelly. Wait, you came out the closet. Exactly. Yeah, so, I, well, yeah, okay. I was, you know, because I, no, I had not, I wasn't bad, you know, it was just a little more. That's okay, but you, you said coming out the closet and R. Kelly. We no, I was, it was like trapped in the closet because it was like, you know, her man came home, plain okay. and simple. And, you know, I was like, you know, we were already trying to set up a, you know, yeah, yeah, because, well, to the point where I didn't know. And she didn't he know. He lost me. Um, he <laughs> said he was respecting drinking? her. He said he was respecting her for a year and they didn't have sex. And then all of a sudden she, she has a man up. and he's hiding in the closet. Mm-hmm. She was lying to you, dog. He, he yeah, was still hitting. already. So she kicked him out and we did it. But it was to the point where. She kicked her did. husband out? No, it's not her husband. It was her boyfriend. Oh, oh okay. I like her. <laughs> like her style. <laughs> Right, right. So, you know, she's a cool jazzy girl. And it was to the point jazzy, where, cool you know, we did. Girl. <laughs> 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 I want to be a cool jazzy and it was, girl. <laughs> Somebody call me a cool jazzy girl. You're a cool and jazzy girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold Sorry. on. Go ahead. <laughs> and it was, uh, and, but the, see, the situation was, all right, we did it. And, you know, I climaxed like twice. Carmax. And I was still wow. hard. You, you know what I'm saying? So no, I was like, you damn, what's yeah, it was like still hard at the at the two climaxes. You know, at the okay. one climax, man, I'm supposed to at least get thirty minutes worth of sleep in before the next time go around. So you know, it came to the point where I was like, man, this is not right. So I had to admit right. myself into. I had you know, this was even before Viagra came out. You know oh yeah, I mean? so you were about okay, so you <laughs> yeah. okay? Thank you, Great, thank you, somebody. Thank you. Um, Yo, who so says climax anymore? <laughs> 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 says, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nigga, did you come? Yeah. You come, you get your rocks off. Nigga, did you bust a yeah, nut? Let's I, we don't say climax. climax. Uh, let's I say climax. Because you are Denisha Danielle. No, I know, <laughs> no, because she doesn't climax. Uh, right. Oh, oh. oh. Nobody said you that. You shall not climax. You, you shall, <laughs> shall not. Nobody said good. all that. Come, come right. Bust. Come, bust, bust a nut. Bust off. Did you bust a nut? And then he said Viagra wasn't around when he was getting it. So he's... Older. He was born he was in 1839. What was his point, though? Like, you know? I don't know. I was lost at like his third. Subject. This topic in particular, people calling, they want to like just want they want to talk. They want to the build. We need up. an hour and a half. They need we to build. Really up. We, we need to really not have to cut people c- off. Cater to our <laughs> listeners more. Yeah. Be more sensitive to their <laughs> sensitive stories. Who is sharing with us? We don't want to clown your boring stories. No problem. <laughs> no, I'm and playing. I need we to tell my all. broke dick story. Oh, next up after the break, when I hear Tina leaving his broke dick story, Denisha's no story, uh, a story <laughs> about the nigga that put his nuts in the condom, and Portia. <laughs> She got stories. I'm, I'm the, make up a I'm story. the angel. And I'm going to talk about niggas who won't give it up. Y'all call 877 after the break. Let me back. No more. I'm, I'm on my city. city. Uh, hey, Eastside. Eastside. Yeah. East Side. I'm yeah. East Side. I'm East Pro- East Pro- the mean streets of East Providence, Rhode Island. Shout yeah. out. West Side, LA. Right. Shout out. <laughs> we are back. The Claudia Jordan Show and the Pigeons. <laughs> Say your name. <laughs> I, I, although I... I'm a very big star in Hollywood. I like to share the limelight uh, with my friends. So your names again. <laughs> you are, what's your name again? Tina Zavina here. And you are? Denisha Danielle. You, the Asian one. <laughs> <laughs> and Claudia Shadow, Flora. And the black one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you put yourself and there. The hey. <laughs> put yourself there. Hey, and the black it's okay. one. Portia. Okay. Yeah, Portia. Yeah. Portia Lee, though. Portia Lee. That's the middle name. People that's think that's right. my last name. It's Jimmy not. Kimmel. I like tomorrow. it. Jimmy Kimmel Live tomorrow night. Right. Right. Anybody else? Any uh, y'all doing anything? No, no they ain't. Uh, I'll be in Urban Inc. August 12th. Get it, please. Doing what? I'm kind of like butt naked with my tattoo showing. What, what, what? Urban, what? Inc. Yes. Urban Inc. Okay. Also, uh, visit my website, www.sweetavenuela.com if you want some cake. Okay. She looks cake. That yeah, yeah. sounds like something different. It does. <laughs> if you want some cake. Like, Ooh, Flora's uh-huh. some cake. Right, now Flora's giving out cakes on her website. Now, I got to say this. I, I need to say this disclaimer. <laughs> please. <laughs> on Sirius Radio, we have a, a vast array in uh, all shapes, sizes, colors, creeds, religions. <laughs> Call in. I love it. I appreciate it. 
But I must say, a lot of times, you know, some of the old cats, they, they want to talk on the phone longer. They're not, they're not in the text messaging age. Right. So basically, right. I just want to say, if you're calling from a rotary phone, <laughs> this show is not for you. <laughs> or just get to the juicy part so we won't cut you off. Because I hate cutting people off. I 20 feel, seconds or longer. I, yeah. feel, or right. shorter, I feel really bad cutting people off, but we only have an hour. When we get an hour and a half, all day yes, long. Then we all day. They should use their rotary phone. Half a day. And call Sirius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And tell them we need 90 minutes. Yes. That'd be good. Please. Do, y'all. All of them. And, and, and take, take your time minutes. when yeah. you talk about it. <laughs> right <Yes>. in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got another call from California. Yes. Oh. Representing Cali. Uh, teardrop. Teardrop. Right. Teardrop. teardrop. So gangster. That's right. Choke me. Hey, hey, what it do, ladies? What it do? It do what it is. What up, Cal Block, Bo? That's the business. That's the business. Hey, let me preface this story. By saying, I'm a man who prides myself on making a very good first impression. You understand what I'm saying? You give me that pussy so for act? the first time. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, well, yeah. First impression. First what impression. you say now? Denise, no, ask if you asked. Okay. No, so My look. first impression wasn't great, but go ahead. All right. So, look. Hold on now. All right. I threw him off. So, I woke up in El Paso, Texas. I'm a truck driver. I woke up in El Paso, Texas. I pushed all the way out to Ontario, California, right? So, uh, boom, I get out there like 10 o'clock at night, something like that. The homies come scoop me up. You know what I mean? I'm in the car with the homies blazing and shit, kicking it. You go down to Mo Valley, go kick it with the homies down there. So then, you know what I'm saying? The homie little broad comes through and bring her home, girl. They call me over to the car and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, mm-hmm. girl that made a choice. And it's understandable. You understand what I mean? I'm 6'3", 225, you know you know, tall, dark, whoa, whoa. and handsome. Nice. Mm, sound like my type of <laughs> mover. I tried to holler at you one time, but I'm going to tell you about it. But look. Whoa. So, uh, so me and no girl, I mean, she on me all night, right? We just rolling in the back seat, it's on the cracking. All up, I'm going to beat this pussy. Up. You know what I mean? I'm going to wear this hoe out. So, uh, we all in the back seat with the tongues and the fingers and all that shit. We get over to the house, long story short, get over to the house, she sucked me up. I mean, God damn. I mean, I've been on the road about two weeks, feel me? So I ain't been nothing but me and me. So, man, she's sucking nigga up. So I'm like, God damn, right? She's over the fucking shelf, this bitch. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm wow. listening to Biggie. This is definitely rap. an L.A. dude, though. Like, <laughs> like how they communicate. I can't believe I didn't get with him. You're bringing me to tears. <laughs> No, 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 no. Hey, I'm talking to y'all like the homies. Y'all, y'all the homies with me. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt, son. Uh, no. We the homies, so look, son. <laughs> All right, so, so we get to the house. It's on the crack, you know what I mean? So, you know, I plant the pussy. It's soft and wet. It's feeling good, and I'm loving it. So I just, and I, you know, I slide the rubber on. You know what I mean? Man, I'm no doubt. Uh, you know what I mean? Slide the rubber sex, on. Get up in the motherfucker. I, I give me a couple strokes, and it's good, right? And that's it. I know the sun up. And I'm looking dead at the side. I fell asleep on this bitch. That is the moral of the story. Uh, so, thank you. That yeah. was fabulous. So he's See, a, that's why I didn't get with you, because I could detect that you couldn't make it through the night. So he's a vampire. And the sun yeah, the sun comes out. Like, but, but, I must you. tuck my dick oh. away. The sun rays on my dick make it die. <laughs> like a gargoyle that can't be out in the daylight. <laughs> we got to wrap the show. I mean, oh. the call took up 57 minutes of the show, so we have a good three minutes so we can talk. Did anybody else have anything? Damn, to I had a no. I had a broke dick story. Oh, Tell yeah. it quick. Tell it quick. Was, his, his dick was broke. That's it. That's See, story. let's let's do our stories fast. Okay, go. Go. <laughs> okay. The nigga he had a broke dick. I, I was like, I'm going home. I went in the bathroom. I cried. So he took me home. That was it. <laughs> right. Did you? Do you have anything? Uh, yeah, there was a, a guy. We were kissing, and he came, and that was it. There you go. Bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, I oh, uh, <laughs> that is. <laughs> I fucked this little dick dude. Put dick and balls in the condom. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Portia, you got something. Actually, same story. Um, you know, I'm a little younger. He was a younger than I. So yeah, he kind of did. Cute. Co- yes. No. <laughs> oh, he no. came up and kissed. He said cute. No. How are they gonna come off a of kiss? No. We gotta work on that, Claudia. Y'all ain't got the lips for it, you know. Oh. Exactly. Because oh, if you have these big, juicy. <laughs> you ain't got big, juicy lips neither. I don't either. Oh. I do too. Oh, I bet you I give head better than you. Wow. wow. I bet you do. No, you I'm have a lot more experience. I told it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> You know what, bitch? <laughs> we give you kudos for that. I totally <laughs> bet you do. Um, yeah. I had a guy that the buildup was so long. We finally got together, and he had to keep saying his name in third person to pep his dick up to stay hard because he was so excited, and it just never materialized to anything. It didn't amount to anything. I felt like I was fucking a pancake. Man, pancake batter. Uh, <laughs> are you kidding? Yeah, he was like, "Come on, man, 
<laughs> don't don't put me. Come on, dude. <laughs> nah, man. Nah. I oh, mean, just give me five minutes. Give me five minutes. Don't <laughs> ever. Just, she was just so sexy that I just couldn't. Damn, stop. I didn't think I thought it was going to be bullshit this time. I didn't think I was going to give it up this time. So I was checking my MySpace. Finally, yeah. <laughs> I, I was approving friend requests. Nigga, no. <laughs> no. Approve. What would you do if a dude was talking to something in the third person or why hidden? I want to say his name, but I don't. Don't. Why not? Let me crazy. Hey, fam. He ain't, he ain't famous. <laughs> so what? People got to be famous to, to to claim him? I'm saying to say their name on the radio. Oh, okay. So it's because some people get very famous. sensitive about that being put on blast. You're right for pancakeness. For pan- Send out disclaimers. <laughs> disclaimers. <laughs> oh. Speaking of speaking MySpace. Of speaking of MySpace, hit us on our MySpace www.myspace.com <laughs> slash the single life with CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever got turned down for sex? Like trying to give it away and they're like, no, I'm good? Yep. No. Uh, uh, that's not happening. Let me show you a line. I've never uh, been turned down. I was so, you gotta I was so put out there. I try to send mine in the mail. It didn't even work. <laughs> I take that back. Fuck I him. was turned down Fuck by a church boy. Oh, and that just oh. really made me really want it more. I was really like, nigga, you really saying that? What the fuck? Are you... You do not know. He was, like, <laughs> no. he was like, no, God doesn't want us to do this. Exactly. I was really wow. offended. I had a friend that was like that with a guy, and she 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 finally talked him into it, and he finally gave it up. She said it was the size of a pinky. So a lot of times they have <laughs> no reason why. <laughs> neighbor. Anybody else? They ever said no? No? So, so no to you? No. I, I don't think it's... I, I don't give it up enough, so no. <laughs> so when I do, it's like, oh. Uh, right, maybe that's why she won't give that's it up. That's why. No, how, how, how about the old, well, I just don't want this to be nothing. I want to meet I want something. to meet... It's got to have meaning. No, it doesn't. No, really, fellas, not all the time. Sometimes you want to have a sexual relationship that doesn't make you a whore. Sometimes you just want to, you, you like the person, you trust them enough to like, yes. you know, bump ugly. So you're like, let's do it. You're cool. <laughs> and they want to hit you with, let's wait till we get married. Um, yeah. That you know. happened to me five months. I, I, was, I was dating Send someone. him our way. Send he was way. like, I want to wait. And I was like, all right, nigga, you going to wait. And then he was like, you know, like a month into it. Okay, let's do it. I'm like, no, nigga, let's wait. <laughs> you want to fucking wait? Let's wait, nigga. We dated for like five, six months. Never gave it. Has never, any other, ever. any of you guys ever wow. said, I can't stay because I have to go to the gym in the morning? Nah, yeah, never. that's a very unusual. I, I, 24 hour fitness. They ain't no excuse. I'm sorry. I, I think wait. he had a membership to, um, that's, I mean, you, you was offering a workout. You know he what I mean? Like, he Did was, I say it was me? Uh, <laughs> right. It was a friend. Um, my, no, my, sister, friend friend. my sister. My sister. Uh, <laughs> you even sister? have a sister? Of course. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody seen no right. damn sister. You've got two minutes. <laughs> no, but that's pretty sad, though. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Should we put it so on uh, the the website like we try to do? Me? Should we sell it? In? I think I'm gonna put my bid? vagina. My I'm gonna open have stuff. The opening bids on Craigslist for my All vagina right. yeah. at a uh, one date and a hand job. Okay. <laughs> uh, one date we, and a hand job. Claudia's putting her. Uh, Snatch on eBay <laughs> for snatch. <laughs> That's great. No? It'll go pretty high. Yeah, I got I a topic go for high. a show we should do one day. You know, you know, put it on there. Yeah. Chicks telling you your dude is married on MySpace. Oh, you know, Ooh. hitting you on MySpace. Sounds and, like, hey, I, that wow. dude you think you got going on? He's married. Yeah, and females Sorry. can't be mad and all on female MySpace. when oh, they okay. don't you know. know. And people out there, we like to make this uh, show for you out there. It's not just all about us. I mean, it is. But <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah, a, come on. Uh, eventually, at the end of the day. But callers, give us your ideas. Send us letters, issues, topics. And we'll read them on the show. Uh, if you have a, a question that you'd like to be answered, you want help from, because we have so much experience and knowledge and we right. have such functional yes. relationships. Right. I'm such sure you would like our advice. Obviously. At the MySpace page at www.myspace.com <laughs> slash the single life. You want to learn how to not have sex? Hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> not have sex. Exactly. Uh, and so, then hit me up. Yes. <laughs> and then hit me up if you want to have cake. Okay. Hit me up if you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and Tina. Hit her up if you want to <laughs> booty clap. You want anal. <laughs> booty clap and a poem. <laughs> booty clap and a poem. Join us wow. each and every Monday, 7 p.m. on the West Coast, 10 p.m. on the East. Uh, please be our MySpace friends. We don't have that many friends. We have a lot of views. Yeah, so why don't they ask? We're about to wrap the show. Please email us your ideas, questions, comments, and free stuff. We are open to all that stuff. Join us next week. I don't know what the topic is going to be. Um, I don't know. Just give us a call and check yeah. us out. If you want us. your company on the air, send us some free shit. <laughs> All right. Thank you. We'll see you next. Oh, I almost gave Felicia to the mic. To the oh, mic. Wow. Uh-oh. Give us a call. Uh-oh. All Pick right. Pigeons. Of- All right. We out. And we're out. Oh, fuck the gym. <laughs>